What is going on everybody? Matta222 here today bringing you guys another figure review. Today we are looking at the Batman the Anime, New Adventures of Batman I should say, Firefly figure from DC Collectibles. So guys as always before we look at the figure let's take a quick look at the packaging. Pretty nice blister card. It says New Batman Adventures right there, DC Collectibles. New Batman Adventures on the side. Firefly number 28 telling us this is the 28th figure in the line, or so we assume. And they're sculpted by Irene Matar. Well, that was an unforeseen circumstance. Uh, Firefly across the side. Irene Matar, you better have made me a good figure. I will say that. That's not a threat, that's just a suggestion. Oh. Nice kind of shot of all the characters on the background, or some of the characters, whatever. A bunch of boring writing, and there's a DC logo again. Don't give this to kids under three. Probably not a good idea. Products may vary from image. I know enough with this, guys. We've already looked at this package thoroughly enough. So why don't we take a quick break? I'm going to get this guy out of the pack package. I can't talk today. And then we can take a closer look. All right, so looking at Firefly out of the package, I will say he looks pretty good. Uh, as as good as a figure that's 99% gray could be. So, def yeah, so definitely, guys, if, if you hate the color gray, then this is definitely not the figure for you. But he looks really nice. He doesn't have a lot of fine detail, like no really face sculpt. But I do like what they did with the eyes. Like you can see the, the red pupils, whatever you want to call them, the placement. Looks like he's got some crazy eyes going on. So I do like that, and he does have a little antenna. I mean, gloves. I mean, it's a, it's a lot of gray. There's not really much to say. Okay, the belt. All, all these little uh, containers, whatever these are supposed to be. I don't really remember. Uh, I haven't watched the Firefly episode in a while, but they are really, really poorly painted. So you can see just really bad like even that right there unless they're supposed to be that way which i really doubt i mean look at that you can see the blue mark right there so they really 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 did a poor job of painting that the boots and the gloves are a darker shade of gray so i guess that looks nice kind of gives some dimension and this strap for his wings is Fine. They they got the paint right there, so I will give them that. And there is his jetpack or his wings, whatever you want to call them. They look pretty good. Uh, really like the sculpt of this guy. Looking at his articulation again, not really a lot to talk about. Not a lot of sculpting or texturing. So looking at his articulation, the head moves a weird side to side angle. Arm moves up to about here, rotates here, moves in this far. Which, because you could see that the the shoulder sticks out, so that cuts off his articulation. So that is too bad, right there. Single jointed elbow, wrist rotation and wrist hinge. He's got a waist twist. Hips move out about this far. He can kick that far forward, which is is not much at all. Kick that far back. And the feet do rotate, they do hinge, and no rockers. Uh, again, yeah, the the articulation is always kind of sus on these guys. You can't really expect much because they're, they fit the mold of the show so closely. But All right, accessories. As I'm sure you guys know by now, if you've purchased any of these figures, they come with a base and a clip and instructions for some reason like I can't figure out how to put a freaking base together and he also comes with a lot of hands so you can see I got the fist hand right there he comes with a another fist for the right trigger hand for the left comes, oops I, dro I, I dropped something guys he comes with two 
open hands and two handshake hands or gripping hands they, they look like gripping hands but he only comes with the one main accessory so he has his gun uh, it looks pretty nice it looks like just a repaint of mr freeze's gun I, I could be wrong about that i'll have to compare it but the two barrels are a nice light blue and then the handle is kind of a black a dark or a black maybe like a really dark gray and that looks pretty nice and you could just pop that into his hand just like so it just fits in okay you, you might have to all right you might have to wedge it in there but once you get it in there there we go it looks it looks fine there he is with his little fire blaster very cool uh all in all i like this figure uh great i don't i don't think there's been many very many firefly figures released so i am actually happy to just have this character in general and i do like this figure he is one of the more likable figures in this line so if you're a fan of this line at all or if you just like this character then i definitely am gonna I'm definitely going to go ahead and say pick this guy up. I think he's a cool figure and I think you will like him a lot. But once again, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm, I'm sorry it was a little shorter, but not really a lot to talk about this guy. Not really a lot of sculpting or texturing going on in this guy. So not too much to talk about. But if you did like this video, guys, show me some love down below. You know what I'm talking about. Hit that subscribe button because I'm bringing you new videos daily and that is the best way to make sure you don't miss anything. Also, like this video, share it with your friends, leave me a comment. I'd love to know what your thoughts on this guy are. All my social media links are in the description so you can follow me there if you would like. Uh, every Friday night, don't forget to check out the Sanctuary YouTube channel for the Spaghetti and Friends podcast with myself and some other kind and knowledgeable gentlemen. And of course, also check out the Sanctuary Facebook page. That is going to be it, guys. Thank you again for all your support. It means so much to me, guys. I know I say that every time, but it really, really does. So thank you to you guys. You are the best. You, I, you are the best. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you for everything. I hope you guys have yourselves a great day. And I will see you next time with another figure review. And bye.